Now, joining me here on these giant rubber inflatable balls is two of the elite athletes. We've got Tal and Aina. Tal? Yeah. How are things? <laughs> yeah, good, right. So, you are an elite athlete. How long have you been training? Um, I suppose I've been doing this for like three or four years now. So, uh, training hard for like the last year, year and a half. What about yourself, Aina? Um, I've been doing it for like five years, I suppose. And Doing pretty intense training for the last two years. You uh, was it? You won a silver in the Swiss Games. Swiss Open. Yeah. Swiss Open. Yeah. How was that? It was good. It was a nice experience. I've been here since July, and I've set up a high performance program um, geared around our elite athletes, which you can see behind me, um, and some development athletes, trying to push them to qualify for the Olympics in 2012. Um, we've, we've presented our case to the Irish Sports Council and they're very impressed and um, we're hoping to hear if we're going to get some funding. London's what, two and a half years away. It, it, it is close but at the same time um, these guys have, have, have got something special going on here. To see the guys running around the track and some of them have got great technique and and I tell you what, it's, it's all about having guts as well and seeing them training and pushing themselves, it's really impressive. I just think you can see some really exciting steps for them because the Olympic champion in 2000 was someone called Stephanie Cook and she um, took up the sport seriously two years before that. So within two years she went from really just dabbling in the sport to being Olympic champion. 